Hello guys, remember me? I'm Orbator, yo Welsh engineer, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Look, 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 it's version 1.1, awesome stuff. And yeah, let's get into it. So I started off, uh, let's resume a save, I'm testing version 1.1. There's been a couple of things that I've been having problems with. Uh, physics of the game and all sorts. Also, let's talk about this series. This is going to be... I'm going to start this one off. I'm going to name it. Wait, 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 wait. Wait for it. Let's load up our ship first. Because we want to have some fun while we're talking. I suppose you want to watch a rocket launch before we launch. And why is that picture in there? I don't know. Kerbal Space Program. Uh, mind you, it is beta version 1.1. It's crashed twice on me. Balls, what's going on? Yeah. What are you doing, bloody game? Okay, so this is exactly, well, very similar setup to what I've done in my Mining the Man series. I've got a simple rocket on top and the Septrons here. And, whoa, let's change these because I did try to record. The game crashed though, so bugger it. I'll start again. Why not? So let's engage SAS. Full thrust. Launch. Let's try to get into orbit. Thrust down. As you see, I haven't got Kerbal Engine Redux mod installed, so... I'm going to have to guess my thrustings and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, just keep an eye on the speed and hopefully, hope for the best. Hope the Kerbals do the best they can. So anyway, I'm going to change the name of this series. As we know, it was Mine of the Months and More. Because I added the and more when I realised that the... Uh, I was going to do other things that Mining the Man was very limiting. I could have done it all on Mining the Man. But I thought, oh, it's, it's going to get quite boring after a while. At least for me, even if it was interesting for you. I was thinking, I'd rather go somewhere else. I could do other series at the same time. But my time's limited. That's why I'm doing this episode live. Because I didn't have time to do full recordings. Okay, now what I want to look at this while we're launching, while I'm talking, is I want these to separate properly. This is almost exactly, all the Septrons are set up almost exactly as I did for mine the Man. So keep an eye on that. I'm sure it's going to destroy. There you go. And yes, there it goes. <laughs> okay, so what's happened there? If we rewind the video and had a quick look back, those side tanks seem to angle in and hit the centre rocket. Why? Why? It worked perfectly on the other versions. On the other version. On v when I was using version 1.0.5, the lar that large rocket, those se outer tanks, separated for f just fine. So what's changed? I don't know. Well, the entire game has changed, for instance. We're using the Unity version 5.2, I think it was. I don't know if they went further than 5.2. If they did, that's awesome in the fact that it's more advanced, but we've got this problems with it. Mind you, as I said, this is version 1.1 beta, so it's not too much of a problem. I'm not going to report that as a bug. It may be that they balance the parts differently. I'll have to look at the change log before I decide to go report anything. Anyway, what I want to talk about is what we're going to do with this. I want to change the name of this. Some of you have suggested things like, ooh, let me have a quick look at the comments as we're coming down. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Someone did suggest the name of series, Journey to Jewel. Sounds like a good one. Um, but yes, more Jewel. But I can't find the other name. <laughs> I, I should have copied and pasted the com relative comments. Anyway, I'm going to answer comments, so don't worry, I'll get to that in a moment. But first off, I want to mention that I have chosen a name, but not from you guys. It just came to me just as I was starting this game. I can't wait for this to finish, so let's revert flight to vehicle assembly building. Don't crash, don't crash. It's crashed twice on me now. When I revert back to this vehicle assembly building, if it's going to crash again, I'll report it as a bug. I'll check, double check to see if everything I have set up is correct. Okay, so this setup is not working. These aren't... I put two Sepatrons on the top to try to get the top away from the center of the rocket. I even got the Sepatrons on the top. I'm wondering if that's causing problems. Perhaps it's hanging or something. I don't know. And I love the new UI system. It's awesome. Or perhaps it's these uh, struts which are holding them back. I don't know. I have to test things out. However, I did create a launch system. I suppose you've seen it 
for launch 02, which didn't... I don't know why I'm not getting a picture on that. Yeah, and I changed these out just because... Yeah, just because. <laughs> so let's launch that. So, the name of the series is going to be Kerbal Quest. The quest for the Kerbals to go around the solar system. So, let me go. I'll... If I remember this time, I'll put a poll in the top right corner. If you're on mobile device, there should be some uh, card somewhere. I don't know where it appears. I, some, sometimes it appears on the bottom. I don't know. Just keep an eye out for it. It'll be a poll where you can choose the name, say yes or no to um, to Kerbal Quest, or we can have Jules Quest, or as someone suggested, uh, Journey to Jewel. I'll put another poll in there if someone else has got another idea in there. So let me, and if you do have another idea, print the comments below for the name. I could always go back and change the name of the series, but I'm going to name this first one Kerbal Quest. Let me know if that's any good. So let's go launch this. Woo! And why was this one quicker off the bat? I have no idea. Ah, oh, balls! I remember this was for testing. I re don't crash, don't crash, please don't crash. It's okay if a rocket crashes, but not the game. Yeah, I was testing to see how it's like when it, the fuel tanks were empty. And that's why we took off so quick, because we haven't got enough weight. And let's fill these up. Hey, presto, we're ready. Let's save it and launch. Okay, so yeah, Kerbal Quest, let me know. Um, also, things about the comments. What am I going to do? I did have just a brilliant idea. I'm not entirely sure who we're bouncing about. I'm not entirely sure if it's awesome or not awesome. But I was thinking I could do a live version of it, like I'm doing here, where we're just messing around. Perhaps we'll do some odd things, and I talk, I read comments where I can, and then I do the pre-recorded ones where I can speed up video, do a bit more in it, and then add my commentary, post commentary on there, and I, I can pay more attention to the comments then. Let's go to one, two thirds thrust to reduce the aerodynamic effects. Perhaps half thrust, okay, half. No, not too slow. We want to continue to reach our speeds. So let me scroll down on the comments and then quickly go back to the game to make sure that we're launching up. Okay, so from the first comment, Josh Jab 2002. I'm first, ha ha! <laughs> ha ha! Was I meant? That's what I was meant to do. Okay, and these could this rocket is awesome. When I was launching this, I was getting down to, how uh, was it four? No, at one. Boom. See those rockets separate properly because I put septrons high enough top. I never used to have this problem, so that's one thing I'm going to look into. I think my designs and my rockets are going to change. Okay. From NER Murder. Bro, thank you for making those videos. I have learned so much about it. And yeah, Scott can be confusing. Scott Manley, that is. You're a good YouTuber. Awesome stuff, thanks. I bet you're gonna be none, huh? Yeah, I wasn't sure what he meant. I also he also put on there after. I also forgot to say that you are one of those who answer the comments. You do not need to comment this. <laughs> okay, where are we? Oh, I haven't got the apparatus height on here. So let's have to use a map view. No. And oh, we're almost in space. So yeah, I think... You know, I think it's one thing that YouTubers fall down on. At least some of the bigger YouTubers. Not the huge YouTubers. They don't read the comments. Why can't I click on that and keep it up? Whoa, that's awesome. I just right click on it and it stays up. I should read that change log a bit more. Okay, let's kill that and see if these, these normally destroy it. If the first stage doesn't. Yes, as I said, that would destroy it. Okay. So redesign. I'm going to have to think of something. Because look, that's spinning. Is that the center of mass where it's spinning at? So why is it sticking on the top? I'll have to perhaps disconnect that strut on the top to see if that does it. This video is going to be about design, testing, flaws and whatnot. I didn't realise it was going to be. I think I thought I could go in straight in and 
design my rockets and use the same designs and say, great, I'm going to use brute force to win this game. But no, 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 the game has different ideas. Thank you. Okay, so let's go to another comment from... Sakjam Solanki. <laughs> I'm probably changing the, I'm changing people's names and reading them every episode. So sorry about that. Hi, Obator. I have an idea for a new series. You can try to make a series on colonizing the Kerbal system. You could you also use mods to make it more fun. Yeah, I'll use mods. First off, I want to get used to the game stock game. Get back to the roots because I got a bit lazy of using Kerbal Engine Redux and not, uh, you know. Not you just playing it stock and guessing things. So let's add maneuver. Boop, 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 boop. I wonder if this timer is better now. Because I used to have problems with the estimated burn by here. It used to be that it never used to be exact. I used to use the Kerbal Engine Redux mod because it gave me the proper burn time. Especially you have multiple engines that you have to stage during that burn. Okay, let's go on to Maneuver Node. And no, it's not correct. Okay, it looks like they're using the same code there. So Kerbal Engine Redux is probably a mod. And let me know, guys, let me know if you use the CAN mod for to installing mods. I want to know if it's going to be any good, if perhaps I sh that's what I should be using. So yeah, I might, I'm going to install mods one at a time. I'm not and then I'll test the game. It's crashed twice on me. I don't want to have problems with the game crashing and I lose saves, especially if, if I've done a lot and the mod won't cause the crash until two hours into the game. Balls, I could not handle that. Not at this stage. Yeah. Not all the time I've only got. You know, I'd play it for two hours, it crashes, I lose everything, lose the footage or whatever, and I'd have problems. You know, I won't be able to play it until the next day for two hours and I won't catch up on videos okay from Andrew Sell yes more to Jewel lol another great video man I'm I'm the Jewel fanboy so it's obvious I want to do more there smiley face with an X eyes ha 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 yeah I want to I do want to go to Jewel first so anybody who disagrees with that. Sorry, Jewel first. Someone suggested things like doing the asteroid base again, but going to Drez. Where is Drez? Where is Drez? We can you we can control with this while using Matthew. Awesome. And I love the new orbit things, although people have been saying that it doesn't show where you're going to impact the planet. So where is it? Elu is there. Drez is there. Apparently Drez, if you go to Drez, you'll suddenly... Whoop. What's our orbit? Oh, well, we'll come back to that in a moment. Drez will spawn asteroids after you go to explore it. If you put a probe in orbit or something, asteroids will slowly spawn around there. I'm not sure if it's be in the same area, perhaps between Drez and Jewel. But the asteroids, we get really closer that we can get it to Jewel, get it in orbit around Jewel. We'll have an asteroid base there. No? Awesome stuff. We can do the asteroid base again. Oh, bloody hell, that's going to take ages again. And these bloody asteroids, how dare you! So let's zoom in, see where our orbit is. Because I'm sure we haven't got a per perfect orbit. No, we haven't. Uh, no, I want this. that one. Let's increase our height. So we're just coming out to the atmosphere. There you go. Ooh, cool. So yeah, a few things we have to work on in this series, like designs. I'm just testing this out now that we noticed that that stage is still damaging the center rocket. I was hoping it wasn't. I thought it wasn't actually during the test, but I was just going straight up. So yeah. Okay, let's go to another comment as I'm going to add a maneuver node here just to the orbit so we can get the orbit in the sun. Okay, from the Smiling Blobfish. I'm actually very pleased that you read comments because very few YouTubers do and do it and it can inspire others whilst sharing ideas. It also makes people happy because of the shoutouts. Also, it stops your videos from being boring. 
Not that they would be boring anyway, but it prevents from semi-awkward and long silences because you are constantly talking. Yes. And that's one thing I love about kites. Not only that it stops me talking, it gives me something to talk about. I think that's awesome that I can use comments like Far Lands or Besta. Kurt does that. Kurt reads comments. But he does it for charity, which is a totally different thing, I assume. Well, I assume it is a totally different thing. But what I'm trying to say is that you're, you know, you're talking to fans and you're having great fun. You know, you, you can relate to people. No, I want to go retrograde. So you can relate to what people are saying. You can relate to what I'm talking about. You can reveal things about me. You can reveal things about the game or what I'm trying to do. And interaction. That's what YouTube used to be about. It's a social media website, really. It's just using videos. And yes, it can be entertaining. And I know a lot of YouTubers. I I didn't watch you, uh, Jack's Equity Guy for a long time. I thought he was loud and obnoxious. But when I watched his vlogs, I realised that, you know, he was interacting a lot more with his fans. He was doing reading comments videos. Yeah, they were quite fun. I... <laughs> That's the normally the videos I watch. So let's reduce our orbit. Let's come down on land, yeah. That that sounds good. Dump you whoa, dump you. Okay, does this shiver? Yeah, you can see a slight vibration in the nav ball. And these are bloody Caspiers. Ah, Caspiers, sorry, no, that's us. Scrubble, squad, whatever you call it. Whoever introduces these errors in the code. It's bringing sentience to the, pro to the game. <laughs> no, it's not good. Anyway, guys, let's go back to another comment. So yeah, I'm going to continue reading comments, so so anybody who doesn't like that, sorry, but the fans have spoken. I don't like calling people fans. My friends online have spoken. Ooh, the moon's coming over the horizon, that's awesome stuff. It's a nice visual for me coming down. Anyway, from the Smiling Blobfish again, also another great space game is Planet Based, which can be difficult and challenging for beginners. But fun anyway, and I would recommend it. Well, I will do when I... I'll have a look at it anyway, I said. But I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. i still trying to get used to this talking stuff. Let's pin that up there and see. Oh, cool. I like that. Right. So, yeah, I'll have a look at it. I won't promise anything. Because I'm doing Surgeon Simulator Iron Bread, which I previously got. I'm not sure if I want to do, go into, back into Subnautica. My saver's broken, which has disheartened me slightly. So I'll, you know... Someone suggested I go explore for the island on the game. I might do that, just for funs. Okay, from another comment. Aljars Zadrznik. <laughs> hey man, I don't really want anything precise to change because... And explosions, explosions. Because whatever you make, it's awesome to watch. For me, some friends from Sol Slovenia, you are the best thing what we could find on YouTube. Stay the best, space whales, <laughs> space whales engineer, which you are. <laughs> awesome stuff. That's, that's a cool comment. I love that. I haven't replied to that comment either. No, is it? actually, there's a couple of them there I haven't replied to. I'll have to do that. So I reply to you on the comments and reply to you on YouTube as well, on, you, on the video as well. So, so and then it, next one is Kenny the Gamer, name of series, Journey to Jewel, and he put hashtag comment read. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to start the hashtag comment read or something, so if you wanted to comment on the video but you don't want your comment read, that's fair enough. I won't read it. We'll work in that, we'll get into that later on. So there's no rush for that guys. I'm still trying to get used to this. I'm still trying to get used to talking on YouTube. Sometimes I feel my videos, my commentary isn't exciting enough. And feel that like I done, uh, I am bred later. 
earlier on, not earlier on, yesterday I'd done that, I think. No, it was day, no, day before yesterday, and I felt like I wasn't doing a good enough job commentating on it. There's a lot of long, awkward silences. I cut the video up a bit to reduce the length of it. So I'm still trying to get used to just talking. Whoa! <laughs> Whoopsie. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. You can all relax, the parachute survived. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to revert to vehicle assembly building. Yeah, bring a cup. Welcome back, guys. The game crashed again when I reverted to vehicle assembly building. So I had to reload it up. And I can't report this just yet because I'm recording the game as well as playing it. So it could be that there's the recording software or something. I don't know. Could be the comments which are on the, my video which are causing the crash. No, it won't be that. <laughs> But I've got a couple of programs running in the background, like Steam. Does Steam cause problems? I don't know. Anyway, guys, I'm going to read a comment out. From Jarbahad. Sarberhagan. Hey, Orbiter, I like the gameplay commentary and the comments reading. Honestly, whatever you prefer to do, you know. <laughs> As an aside, I've got, experience, I've got some experience with electrical engineering. And I found that... Dave Jones of EEV blog to be hugely informative and entertaining. You may enjoy it as well. He's an Australian EE. I think I know who's on about. Is Hi, this... I'm Dave Jones from the EEV blog. And my yes, yes, yes. I think my father watched him actually. My father's an L. Electronic engineer was all so yeah, cool. He's retired, but <laughs> yeah, you, that you can see why I followed in his footsteps. And his first videos are very hesitant, obviously, but they are they just get better and better. Which I realize, you know, I sometimes I'm doing these commentaries and I feel flat, out of energy, because I work, I come home, and you know, you I've used all my energy in work. What? Why is that? But I'm so slowly changing. I'm getting a bit better at this commentary. If you, you should go and watch my very first Gerbil Space Program video. I was very hesitant. I am improving and I'm realizing that I can only get better. Can only get better. <laughs> yes, like the song says. So what are we going to do? I have to. I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Before the video crashed. Have we got the strat? Yes, we have. So I'm going to put symmetry to two. Let's put the strat here, or is that going to cause a problem? Tell you what, let's put it on the bottom of the tank. Hopefully that will still hold the tank steady. Let's do the same for this one. This is experimenting with a new game, new software. Everybody has to remember that this is a brand new game. It's not, yeah, it is Kill World Space where it's using old code. They tried to fix everything. It still seems very buggy. Oh, look at this. You probably can see it. The juddering. The juddering. So they, don't worry, I won't do many videos in the VAP <laughs> because of this juddering until they fix it. Someone's saying online that for some reason, let's save this. For some reason, the game seemed to be using a lot more re computer resources when you're in the VAB than anywhere else. So let's get to another comment before we go launch. From Nadav Friedman. Fried Friedman. <laughs> Is that Friedman? Sorry. Keep reading comments. Maybe you should do a series about Duner Base before Jewel. But if you go to Jewel, try to land on Jewel's surface. I think we'll do that, actually. We'll do a probe with a new inflatable heat shield. Going to explore the in-depths of the planet Jewel. Has it got a hard surface, or is it gas all the way down? Or is it liquid gas when you get down further? We shall find out in another episode. At least when I can work out to launch these rockets. Oh, not X, a Z, man. Yes, that's right. Let's throttle down a bit. Tilt, gravity turn. Get to point to pro raid. 
Okay, from Alex. Let's put this over here. Can I put... Uh, I don't know. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> I was hoping to have the window over the top of the game. I tried to stick it as, you know, on top. But it doesn't work. Okay, from Alex. Because... I forgot now. He did tell me how to read his name. Oh, balls. Oops. <laughs> from Alex... Kajara Ask Gilda Continue reading comments Or in the end it's your channel In the end it's your channel Do what you want Keep up the good work Yeah that's, a, that's quite promising So you guys you know, That still hit the top rocket Didn't it yeah I think these are going to Let's test it before we Oh, it's not so bad. Oh, these are full low. Balls. I messed that up. That wasn't a proper test. Because those tanks are full, it's not going to work. That test isn't going to work. And pulls after revert flight. Let's revert to launch. We'll do an orbit again. Oh, balls. This is the testing stuff that I used to go through to try to get the rockets working. So, T, uh, Z. Launch. Reduce thrust. And gravity turn. And oh, yeah, he also gives out from Alex Askeel there. Name of series Jewel Incorporated or Jewel Inc. Like uh, Monsters Inc. Yeah, that sounds cool actually. But if we're going to go to other planets, we may want to stick with Herbal Quest or something. I don't know. Let me know of something better names. From Jane Stacy, perhaps a good solution for comments thing would be to, if you only screenshots or comments that you don't need much talking about, so people can see what was said and see their comment in the video, and only go into a lot of detail for any comments which you think could be more specific response. Yeah, that's a good idea. I could sort of like shave down my response for some of the comments. She's also added a lot of open suggestions, version one point series. Doing jewel stuff, capture asteroid near Jazz. Uh, jazz. From Dress, yeah. This is the Jane Stacy, which suggested about going for an asteroid and putting it in orbit around uh, Jewel. Since it's closer to Jewel than Kirby, or the asteroid belt near Kirby. So, yeah, I think that will that will be awesome, I think. So, guys, let me know if you want to still do an asteroid base around Jewel. Obviously, it's going to be a bit later in the series because we're still trying to get used to this game. And testing is annoying. Okay, from Cameron Payne 53. You said my name right the first time. They screwed up on the second time. <laughs> sorry. Very sorry. <laughs> Where are you from the UK? Oh, sorry. This is Timmy 1404. Good you or not? Where are you from in the UK? I'm from South Wales. In the UK. If anyone wondering, not Australia. And from Alex Kaj <laughs> Oh balls. I'm gonna call you Alex Askilde. Your builds designs are very inspirational. I often use builds from your videos. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Let's kill our speed. We're probably going to get a bit too high. I think where is I'm using leaving too much fuel on these. Let's use these to get into orbit. Whoa. Whoa, guys. What's happening here? Oh, I'm transferring fuel from the top tanks. That's why we've still got some in the top tanks. To the middle tanks to keep the, the center mass and higher on the rocket as possible. Yeah, science. Okay, from Martin Ellis. In your next set, how about using remote tech and play career mode? I'm not too sure about career mode. It's not that it's a bit hard. It's... Let's try station. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, cool. Okay, so that strat does a lot of things. So I'm assuming that strat... Place it low. I can't control the rocket, so I'm going to have to... Oh, balls. 
Never mind, we're coming back down. I'm not going to revert the flight because I just want the crane to crash. Okay, I don't want to do career mode because I love playing in sandbox, having all the things ready for me. I may do a career mode separate at some point, but that'll be in a bit of time when I work out my schedule for videos and stuff. I haven't worked that out yet. Okay, from Carving Campbell. Don't change anything, mate. Keep up the good work and carry on have, <laughs> having fun murdering Kerbals. Ooh, I'm me in exploring space. Smiley face with a tongue sticking out. And then finally from Virik67. Try to get a perfect encounter from initial maneuver node is very difficult. I think it was a month about them uh, getting encounters from places like Mun Minas. Yeah, I uh, always have trouble with that. Hopefully in this version... If I got into orbit, I could show you on uh, getting in... I'm not entirely sure, I haven't tried it yet. Get in an intercept with a man on this version. So, yeah. And he's on about using sort of like precise node that could help. And RCS for fine control. Okay, that's it for most of the comments, the main comments. By the way, if you want me to read your comment out, don't reply to a comment. Just put a brand new comment in. Because on the app, on my iPhone app, sorry, not iPhone, I use an Android, not an iPhone. How dare you use an Apple? No, I don't mind the Apple. They're good products for what they do. They know they're simple, easy to use. And that's what you want from them. But anyway, yeah, what is that about? Yeah, if you're going to reply to a comment, I don't see it on the app straight off. I have to go into that comment to see if I got a reply. And if you put a brand new comment in, it goes on top of the app, so I can see it easily. So yeah, don't reply to comments. Anyway guys, this is going to be it for this episode. I'm going to continue testing this. So, well, was there graphics click there, glitch then? Did I see those windows? I'll have to watch this video back. Balls to it. And explosions! Explosions are a good way to end the episode. So if you like this video, crank that like button like an engineer. Oh shoot destroyed. Ah whoops. <laughs> Sorry, they're dead. If you like this video, crank that button like an engineer. Trust me, I am an engineer. I'm gonna let them crash. Sorry, Jeb, Bill and Bob. Woohoo! <laughs>